Hey everyone, this is New York City Radio. I am your host, Tom Seymour. And I'm your other host, Cam Powell. This is Dave Luke. And we have mm-hmm. Mr. Gary Alvarez on, on camera and Celebrity Judge. Hello. He's, he's behind the camera. He's not on Behind the camera. the camera. Yeah, Celebrity Judge. Why is Gary a Celebrity Judge? Well, Ken, tell us why. Because you said so. It, oh, well, yeah, but I was I was thinking uh, I would, we'd talk about what we're doing today. And what we're doing today is uh, VHS Massacre. Um, oh, I uh, thought you were asking me why Gary was a celebrity. Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> I think it's for the uh, the uh, wow, that's the, the it's wow. Right. Dave's in a very awkward position. Anyway, so here's the thing: we're doing another VHS massacre crapathon. I think technically so this is the uh, fourth crapathon. Fourth, oh yeah. Um, so it's it's sort of a mini crapathon. Five K crapathon. Yeah. Um, and uh, it should be the five K of crapathons. <laughs> uh, so it should be some good fun. We we got a couple tapes each, and we're gonna see how it goes. Of course, as always, we have our shit sandwich scale. Uh, I think Dave should get some shit sandwiches. But these are the shit sandwich scale right here. And Gary's got a shit sandwich scale, which he's going to put in front of the camera. We'll try to give you the play-by-play for the audio podcast. Um, let's see. So, now should we rate each other? I guess we should, right? Whoever's sure, not going, yeah, even right. though it's like totally biased, but fuck it. Yeah. But fuck it. But fuck it. Um, so, yeah, thanks everyone for listening to New York City for almost, I don't know, two years. We've been bringing you B-movie celebrity interviews. Uh, we get about 11,000 uh, hits a month. And uh, the YouTube is actually uh, starting to be on pace with that now. Nice. Um, so it, it's good. Uh, except we recently got flagged for putting It's a Wonderful Life on our YouTube channel which was public domain for about, I think, 30 or 40 years until recently Paramount somehow regained the copyright through some total abuse of the law. So good times for us. we got a strike on our YouTube account. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. What do you think, Ken? Do you want to talk about anything uh, real quick? Oh, yeah. Um, I, since I missed last week's episode, uh, I think it's talking about two movies I've seen the week prior, and uh, uh, that was Nebraska and Dallas Buyers Club. Uh, two of the films that were nominated for Best Picture, finally got to watch them. Uh, Nebraska, totally loved it. It's a great sort of feel-good comedy directed by Alexander Payne, who directed The Descendants and was it Election? He yeah, election. election. Yeah, yeah, yep. election. So um, really good director. Uh, I liked some of his work. And uh, Bruce Dern as the you know worn and beaten father was picture perfect. I mean, it was just it was great. And the lady that played the mother, I can't remember her name, but she was nominated for Best Actress, and I definitely can see why. She great performance. And then Dallas Buyers Club, uh, great performance also from Matthew McConaughey and Jerry Leto. Like, I can see why both movies were nominated for Best Pictures. So if you haven't che- uh, checked out either one of those movies, uh, I would highly recommend both of them. Like, I'd four and a half shit sandwiches, or four and a half sandwiches, regular sandwiches for both of them. That's cool. So, um, yeah, and uh, just real quick again, uh, we had uh, uh, a couple guests on uh, J.D. Singer uh, starting her Indiegogo for her film No Retreat, so again, uh, donate to that. And, um, you know, also what Jason, what was Jason's short film name? We'll, uh, we'll, we'll post the link to Jason's Indiegogo uh, yeah. as well. But, um, uh, yeah, we'll post that. So... Yeah. Yeah, the Weekenders. That's right. Yeah, so go to uh, Indiegogo, look up the Weekenders, and, and donate a few bucks. Um, hmm, let's see what else. Is that about it? That's it for everything I'm gonna get to get uh, get off my chest before we dive into this VHS uh, rapathon. Yeah. Um, I think we'll be w- watching a uh, a new Neil Breen film. I'm gonna try to go see Fateful Findings. It's the uh, I'll call it the third film in the Neil Breen trilogy, although I'm sure that he wouldn't, and he wouldn't even know what I'm talking about. But uh, if you are, if you enjoy um, films that are, um, let's see, they're found amusing, um, even though they weren't meant to be amusing, then these are great films. Uh, Double Down, I Am Here, dot, 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 now. 
uh, which I understand the four dots, and then uh, Fateful Findings. So that's going to be, I think that's Sunshine Cinema at midnight uh, on Friday night, which is going to be super sexy. So, um, yeah, good times. Uh, before we do this real quick, I what I... I know, I know, I understand. The classics, <laughs> the, cl- the cinema, cinematic classics, Dave. Um, Dave, you got to make sure... Uh, this is funny because you are the audio guy. Make sure to really project because because your mic, you know, have a mic. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, Butt end of the stand. So, yeah, maybe when you review it, maybe you could lean in. See, how does this feel? Like, you're on the other side of the mic now. That's really interesting. Anyway. I'm always on the other side of the mic. Uh, I wanted to say this real quick. So we love the Found Footage Film Festival and Nick Pruer and all those dudes. So we don't ever want to come off like we're trying to be those guys. We do this really occasionally with the VHS, and it's just a goof. But if you want to see this done on the highest level, go uh, look up the Found Footage Film Festival. And better, s- funnier. Better, funnier, um Incredible night, incredible night out. It's like the best stand-up comedy you've seen, except with crappy VHS. It's it's really pretty incredible. Okay, now that I fucking rambled on like some kind of dickhead. All right, we have uh, a couple VHS apiece. Um, what do you think? Uh, I I think you got to go first, right? Because I've been blabbing. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go first since it should be. I guess I won the last one, so I guess I, I got. I oh yeah, you, you call yeah yeah yeah. yeah. So um. Toasted you. Yeah. It was a bloodbath. Yes. I got sodomized. <laughs> I hope you don't have any more of those uh, foreign films that you thought were real. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about that. I wonder. We'll find out soon um, enough. Well, I'm going to go for my first pick. Um, because the second film, actually, I know what it is a little bit. So I know what it details. This one, though, I don't. All I know is that it's Gwen Shamblin. I know, Dave. i got to read it. i got to read it proper first. It's Gwen Shamblin. Way down at home, and it's the way it's spelled like weight, like your your weight. Like you're you're really fat. Really like fat. Really fat. Um, it looks like this is video four of I don't know how many videos, but this is less than six, seven, and eight. Um, wow. I believe this is, and she's holding a Bible in the front. I'm gonna guess this is like is losing it a heavy weight. Bible. She work out with the Bible. Yeah, it's one of those little thin, like uh, I sort of like Jesus, but I really don't. <laughs> Bibles. Um. Yeah, so uh, I guess this is involving Jesus and losing weight somehow. <laughs> I mean, Jesus fantastic. was a pretty skinny guy. Yeah, all great the, abs. You know, the pictures I've seen of him, um, the the uh, Passion of the Christ. <laughs> passion. Sure of, of Jesus. Uh, I've seen plenty. I've seen plenty of uh, <laughs> photographs, many photographs, photographs renditions. Um, the the is it Jim Caseville, whatever his name is from uh, the Passion of the Christ. Caviezel. He he had some abs. So Jesus was. I mean, he was on the right track when it comes to dieting. So I guess I got. I'm a pretty big dude, so maybe I should take some of this advice. I might actually learn something from this. You know what could be considered a Jesus photograph? That that shroud they find. Yeah, the shroud of Torah. <laughs> right. Yeah. That could be considered the first photo. But it's not a picture of his abs, so I guess I mean that could be from a fat fat Jesus. You, yeah, That's what you we needed out. though, is a fat Jesus, right? I mean, Absolutely. we've had all kinds of other People Jesus, like, which is sort of like a yeah, the new American Buddha. Jesus would be fat. Well, yeah, Buddha, yeah. Buddha I guess. But um, I'd like to see a fat Jesus. We've seen like baby Jesus. We've seen really skinny Jesus. We've seen crackhead Jesus. Well, what would he look like? Would he look like uh, like Walt from Big Lebowski, like John Goodman? <laughs> Yeah, I guess he would. Now, right. actually, I want a fatter Jesus, like a Chris Farley, but with a beard and <laughs> long hair. That yeah. sounds good. Yeah. So, yeah, let's get the show on the road. Let's, uh, Dave's going to be our video player. So the title of this is... Way Down at Home. The Way Down at Home. Yeah, all this technology we have in this uh, apartment, but we don't have a VCR remote. Playing that hot VCR. Here we go. All right. Again, let's we let's see... Okay, so, yeah, go ahead. Get, uh, fast forward, if you will. A little fast forward action. Uh, FBI warning is good. I don't think anybody's going to steal this, FBI. Uh, yeah, hit play, hit play. We might get some sweet... Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. It's not this Jesus stuff. Oh. Oh, we got some shit. You have to hold the, the button. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. You actually have to adjust the tracking. Hi, right, Michael. I like Jesus. Oh, you um, almost had it. No, no, no. Just hold. You got to hold it, Dave. Act like you've used a VCR before. Hold, 
push and hold. If that doesn't work, then there, yeah, yeah. Oh, you had it. You, went you too had far. it. You went too far. Yeah. Oh my God. He did it. What? He did not accidentally lead the basic four food groups or the food pyramid out of the Bible. It is Doritos, Taco Bell, Jizz, and beef. Oh, we got a Bible verse. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food, and the body more important? Clothes. As we <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking retard. Jesus was like, eat whatever the fuck you want. Eat blood. Eat blood? What? <laughs> Is she a vampire? A Christian vampire? I mostly drink blood. From hobos. <laughs> Nothing beats a good hobo's blood. Why does she have food stuffed into her sink? Is that pie? Is that food in her? No, that's not food in her sink. Israelites eat manna, remember? <laughs> Which no one knows what that is. Yeah, they didn't have fucking McDonald's and Moses was walking around. Water from a rock? Can Jesus really be trusted? That's just made up. You just made that degree up. From the University of Phoenix. <laughs> it took me three weeks. No, look at her neck, though. It's like, oh. Yeah. Selling your body? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, look at all those chemicals. They all are carbon. Did you see that chemical on that side? What? Is that like Dianetics? <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to call a little fast forward action, Dave. I want to get to maybe... Jesus said, don't wear clothes and eat as much as you okay, want. Okay, well, uh, uh, never, keep, keep, keep going. I thought we were going to get into some real action. I mean, I'm really, I'm really digging this uh, single shot. Uh, oh, we got to pull back. They're just, they're just going now we're going back, back in. We're going back in. All right, all right. Look at that big fucking pile of food. It's just yeah. lumped. And there's a huge cake in the background. Look at that. Oh, we changed the angle. Oh, yeah, let's see what's this. And how many overweight nine-year-olds do you know? <laughs> <laughs> they're mostly Good. dead. Brilliant. Actually, I just saw a documentary where it was a 105-year-old guy and his wife who was like 103, and they smoked for 40 years. So, Were they still having sex? Nah, I don't, I don't know. I would like to, I'd pay to see it. I mean, what? No. All of this is to say that you are more free with the food than you might think. The thing you need to be careful about is eating more food than what your body needs. That's the no devil. What kind of food it is. God designed nutrients to be widespread in foods so that you do not have to worry. And fats what? are not evil. God made the fats to house the flavor of food. It, when she says <laughs> the flavor of foods. The priest shall burn them on the altar as wow. food. Made by fire. This is Leviticus is chapter. I've read that before. It's pretty, wow. pretty fucked up uh, chapter in the Bible. When she says the fats, is she's talking about all fat people? Burn the fats. Burn the fatties. Every fat person. Burn them on a cross. Fats and sweets are the are all the food categories. I eat babies daily. Shit. I like this nice little pullback. She has a master's and she's calling the masters in bullshit. Is that a medical term? Oh, here we go. Are they called storage tanks? 
Jesus. That are available to me. For example, if my if my my hunk is calling for grains, I'll eat grains. Vegetables, I'll eat vegetables. Brilliant. What, what if you don't answer the phone? I, I trust that God eat? has yeah. all the nutrients that my body is calling for in so all the saying. foods that He's. Created. Jesus calls your heart. Dave. Oh, oh. If I if I crave a male penis, I eat penis. <laughs> I said fuck it. I'm just gonna eat whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> Man's ass. I eat it all. And a human hand and a chicken neck. It was incredibly It's the power of God. I'm eating what I want, and I'm happy. Oh, you lost 15 pounds. Congratulations. That's so I eat cotton. Yeah, I eat 15 pounds of shit, and I crapped it out. All Kentucky <laughs> represent. Um, I've killed my neighbors. Um, I like to watch uh, middle school girls uh, play basketball. I spent a lot of money on uh, the blow dryers and feathering my hair and hair gel. Way down at home. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Relax. The button is only so fast you can push it. I mean, this is this looks like some hot shit. God created a hot fudge sunday. The genius. I'm gonna say um, bullshit that God did not create the hot fudge sunday. You sure? I mean, Sunday is the day for church. I figured. I've got a good. I got a good feeling about this one. Especially in my boobies, I let my husband eat it off of them. <laughs> I like it mostly anally. Though. Oh, I'm so I'm glad you're giving me a lesson on how you fucking eat ice cream. <laughs> how do you feel about whipped cream? It's air. <laughs> you like a lot of nuts, bitch. Don't lie. Now Hank knows that I always like coffee with my desserts. Oh, because you're fucking Hank. What I do with my coffee on the side is I wash off my palate. <laughs> and then I go back after a delicious bite of hot food. She's I mean eating a Sunday. What the fuck is this? Delicious. Here's my lesbian daughter. I hate you. I, you are a sinner, and I love you. The fuck? What are there people there? Oh, well, those are just beautiful. Yeah. What the fuck uh, is happening? Drug-addled suburban moms. I stick that one in my ass. I don't have to, but I do. I'll show you my two Bs for a D. Iron. I shit. I shit a little. High colonic? I'll She's give you a talking colonic. about shitting. Yeah. Put this in your ass. Thank you. I've been waiting on that. Wow. I also got your vitamin. Great. Your vitamin T is extra C and E. Ha ha. She's a real C. And vitamin Q is extra C and E. Excellent, excellent. Well, I got to run. <laughs> You're a real cut up there, guy. Hey, you know, I'll see you next week. It's been great, mommies. Hope everything works out okay, Sunflower. Yeah, I'll be getting rid of that STD. All right. Well, maybe that's a good spot to uh, cut out. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on to the uh, next tape. I mean, that thing has a pretty solid, um, some good stuff there. That was a great find. What do you, what do you think, Dave? Oh, uh, rate it. You want to rate it, Dave? It has confirmed my faith in nothing. Let's sneak in a bit so we can hear you. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to sneak in. I want to sneak out. Oh, okay. That was terrible. Uh, Dave. Um, I don't even want to give oh, yeah, the you sandwich because she's going to eat it and tell us how it tastes. <sighs> You're always the same, man. You're trying to like make like less than a sandwich or show a blank page. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like this at all. All right. I, she made me mad. I just don't like the, the whole religious thing. So one, one sandwich. One sandwich. It, was, it wasn't yeah. funny at all? No. It was a we, we were funny. Okay. And I enjoyed uh, watching that with you, kind of. Okay. <laughs> one sandwich. What about you, Dave's uh, Gary? Dave's a tough one, man. He's like, he, uh, Dave is tough to get a good score. Yeah, out of. you're. He's really difficult. Yeah, he's I anal. Like. I, and it's not that. 
If you, maybe if you put on like uh, Braveheart. Uh, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would that would that. Yeah, you exactly. See that would yeah. give me. You're like, oh, five cent, and you're like, no, it's gonna be shitty. I think. All right, Gary, what's the score? What do you got? All right, I got two shit sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's that's, pretty tough. I think that's it's pretty. Uh, don't you don't have to worry. I mean, don't no, don't was, go with your heart. If your heart, if Jesus is telling you to, then you choose to. Jesus made uh, those signs. All right, Jesus listen. made this shit sandwich I'll signs. Listen. I can guarantee Jesus is like she's talking bullshit. I never spoke to her in my life. Uh. So, yeah. Um, you see, Jesus know. is a she. Jesus is not a she. It's all right. What, what's the score? What's the score? <laughs> Two shit sandwiches. Two shit sandwich. Okay, yeah, I'm going to give it four. Uh, I just It's Jesus and cooking and things that things make no sense. Biblical passages. That have no application to what she's talking about. She's talking about how Jesus invented Sundays and uh, how you should eat whatever you want. And it's people going, I ate nine cheeseburgers and lost seven pounds on the fucking Jehovah diet or whatever the fuck it is. Four shit sandwiches. I thought it was nice. great. Okay, so uh, that's two, one, so it's three, seven. Seven sandwiches. Seven, okay. Yep. We got a. All right, so uh, seven. Oh, yeah, I'll put it in my iPad here. Yeah. Right. Sandwiches. Okay, so uh, up next I have for you uh, 11 uh, Secrets to Success. Uh, I found this at the uh, Goodwill. Um, daily Strategies to Become... Oh, that's very <laughs> valuable. Take it. Daily Strategies to Become and Stay Successful. Um, Don LaPree's 11 Secrets to Success. All right, let's pop this in. And... Yeah, this is mine. What do you got there? And Whoa. wait, it came with a letter. Whoa. Nice. Is it a letter? check? Wait, who's that from? Uh, here's the, the tape. tape. Um, Sweet little tape. Oh, the it's, it's, from, it's from it's from Don LaPree's office. Oh, that's <laughs> great. What does it say? Dear Tom, thanks for purchasing this tape. We got your money, laughing all the way. Wait. Can we rewind it? It says, it says, Dear Steve Palacino. Well, that was your your former name, right? I need your help. Yeah, yeah. That's my stage name. I started a new company and it has exploded. I need a super. I need supervisors fast. Yeah, the money is almost unheard of. Whoa, whoa! whoa. Sorry. <laughs> it's just a two-minute message. Sincerely, Don Lepree. Wow. How did Don Lepree know I was going to change my name and know that 35 <laughs> years after this video came out that he, that I would be involved? Oh, that's really nice. Sweet. Oh, that's oh Don LaPree right there on the uh, letterhead too. Yeah. Get the one shit sandwich ready. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. So what do you think? Let's play it. It's not. It's in the middle. Is that right? Um. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Plainview, New York. Yeah. I like it better. That's it just. It is where it is. You know. It's a board meeting. They like want to give me the idea and they want me to do something with it. I said, well, you know, if I was you, the first step, I would do this and this and this. Mm -hmm. They don't do mm -hmm. it. They uh -huh. go and they uh -huh. tell another friend what yeah. they're gonna do, and then they go to another friend. Hey, let me tell you about my man. Let me tell you what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Okay. They never give up to doing it. You know what? What? They just talk about it and they talk themselves right on. So kind of like, kind of like you're doing. Oh, ask, uh, um, ask questions. Ask questions. Um, ask questions. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to ask. Don, come on. Let me ask a question. Like Ken. That's a dick. Got me to the success level. Got me to the success level. Does he have a heart on? <laughs> Does he have a boner? Does Nick show on? Look at his balls. There's a lot of balls. On the left side, that's a lot of balls. <laughs> uh, he hasn't changed shirts in uh, nine days. This is his last attempt of trying to um, get out of the van. What is on the right? It looks like a bin of stuffed animals and a in a in a color chart. Um, oh wow. Ninety-nine percent of the time, I say, sure, I'd love to help you out. People that are successful in the business, I'm not sure what you're grabbing at there, Dave. Stop thinking job. Stop thinking job. Stop thinking job. Stop thinking job. 
went to college for just a year. You didn't stop thinking of jobs. So you went to a big career. Every teacher I ever met. It's a nice plate of something there. It's a total dickhead. Yeah. What, what, what is that? This Cookies? Is Sandwiches? You need to get good grades. I never Nobody touched one. This is, this is I call bullshit I right here. Like Nobody touched this. Grade school or high school. They're into it, though. I, I would give them that. They're really into this. Don't get a job. Huh. I wonder if he's the good fuck. Where was she? Oh, she, is that her on the right? She's, yeah, she's just chilling like a villain. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I was thinking about something else. You agree? What do you mean, like go to school you for business? Seven, you look at seventy-five percent of all the people that, that are rich today. Where are you getting these numbers from? Seventy-five percent have started their own business. That is not correct. Seventy-five percent of the rich people have started their business with a small ten million dollar inheritance from their fathers. That's hard, but it's not. It's probably the easiest thing you could ever do. And then once you get your own thing going, not only do you make more money. You don't have to have... What do you think? Should we fast forward a bit? Let's yeah, fast forward a bit. Yeah, let's see if maybe we get... You totally not pay taxes and you make a lot more money, too. That's yeah. sure. <laughs> I wonder if you spent wow. time in prison. Mm. I like how fast it's going to What do you think? Maybe a stop fast forward? Mm. For the store. I said, you got it. Paint over the box was and all that. I said, about it's a diarrhea in a can. And, and I had it's my product. Like four o'clock in the morning. So by seven o'clock at night, I was sleeping because I had to do the work the next day. He calls me up at seven o'clock at night, and he says, "Lebrick." That asshole. He called me at seven. Unbelievable. And I was like, I have a paper route to do, and no, I have to. I have people to bullshit in the morning. And I said, "Do I need to get dressed up and all that?" I wonder if he's a good fuck. Three sets of clothes. I had to wash him, get ready for the two days later. He said, yeah, you gotta look like and I have really big balls, so like the pants get weird. <laughs> so I need to wash them. Why well, this poor guy over here, like he's totally cut out of it? He ripped you. <laughs> he had no clothes on. His dong was on the paper. He's like, write, write this down. Write this down. Without a pad, without a maxi and pad. No, they still go really bad. What if you don't know how to write? The more you write down, the more you do, the better off you're going to be to coordinate your time. What if you're worried about people discovering your most intimate secrets? If you've got, you got 17 different things you've got to get them done, you write them down. You write them down. Secret success. Write no things negative. down. Next, Kill your friends. Your oh, dude. Ugly friends. Just your own. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. This is uh, fucking found footage festival had a clip from this. Oh, really? Yeah. Get rid of your fucking ugly friends. <laughs> Holy shit. You need pretty friends. Only pretty friends. Only pretty friends will... If you got pretty friends, you know, you're more likely to be able to bang a pretty girl. If you got ugly friends, you're more than likely going to bang one of the ugly ones. Wow. Naturally happy. The ones that's got the nice ass and the... And all the ones I'm talking about. Happy idiots. You want all your friends to be smiling, fucking happy morons. How do we get rid of these people then? Murder? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get rid of your fucking ugly friends. Make the most out of every day. If you just shit your pants, go crazy. You go Fuck your sleep. mom. Whip your dick out right now. You make the most of every uh. Right. Shit on your mom. Yeah, I need the most out of my day. Fuck your shit. There's one thing I want to do. One thing I need to do. Kick your dog. Make the most out of your day. If you get in the habit of doing that. You look back and at the end of the year when it's New Year's Eve. Punch your ugly friends. Time, some people say, oh, next year. Is be <laughs> you can say, all right. Next year. Yeah, maybe we should wrap it up. And all of a sudden, so you only have so many days. <laughs> all right. Uh.
Speaking of speaking of uh, a downer. All right, Dave, <laughs> why don't you go first? Let's get yours out of the way. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the Russian judge. I'm not sure I have an answer for you. Well, yeah. see. He wants to give a half sandwich like, can again. We get, can we look at Dave? I really want to give Ken's two now, so I give this one one. <laughs> Just, just give it what you need to give it. Oh, I'm just gonna give it one. Because so. oh, I like, I like Ken's better than I like this one. This one is just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was just informative. Give it a half, I guess. No, I don't want to give it a half. I'll stick with one. Do yeah, you want to bump one. up Ken's? You can do that. No, no, that no, is. I made my, my You made your bed now. Shit in it. Yeah. All right, Gary. So what's? <laughs> what's your call right. on this one? Uh, I. Uh, uh, hey Dave, can you get, can you swing it around? You know what? I got it swing around. It's pretty close by. I give it a three, three shit sandwich just for three this shit. one. Ah. Just for the fact he had some pretty interesting advice. Get rid of your ugly friends. That is some valuable <laughs> yeah, that advice. And your your life will will improve. It was skyrocket. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually ask you guys to leave right now. Oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm starting today. Does anybody get it? Uh, yeah, funny, yeah, right? I get it. I, well, I was going to ask you to leave, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it's my house. I'm not um, your friend, so I can't. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Yes. Um, so, that's right. Um, initially, I was going to give it two shit sandwiches when we started. Yours? He gave me four. But when we got to the ugly friends thing, that gave me another. I mean, that was that was worth it. I gave it a three. Two yeah, shit sandwiches. No, I liked the ugly. We like friends. I thought it was a, a two, a two, because <laughs> there was some good comedy stuff. I mean, like I had some fun with it, and then when you get to the ugly friends, it's like that's pretty funny. Yeah, I agree. Um, so yeah, three, 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 three shits, um, three shits sandwiches. So that gives Tom seven also for the round. So that leaves us at a tie now. Oh shit! Ooh, wow. Yeah. So um, it's kind of how the other one started out though. I started out all well, right, and then it went way fucking downhill. Well, let's see well, what happens now, right? The the I guess I don't want to call it unfortunate, but I do. We I think we actually both know who Munchie is. We have some kind of idea. Though I don't. I've never watched. I've never that watched movie. it either. Uh, I may may I know what Munchie looks like. I think. Yeah, he looks pretty ridiculous. Um, Munchie something to do after you smoke weed. Yes. Uh, yes. Mm. Um, yes. So this is Munchie Strikes Back. Uh, yeah, there's no cool artwork that came with this one, but uh, yeah, let's. This guy sticker. Uh, oh, video twenty one thirty one seventy three Steinway Street Astoria. So local. local. Was this one from the? Was it from? That the, was from Video Express. Oh, right. So yeah, probably some, bought up from Video twenty one. Yeah. He's like, man, I gotta get that munchie. This is gonna be. Twenty first Street and Steinway. Steinway. Thirty one seventy three. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Can you imagine what how many stores video rental stores must have been in Astoria? Yeah. Oh yeah, like I'm sure. What the eight, late eighties, early nineties must have been pretty crazy. And now you can't find really a single place that sells any kind of movies around here. I mean, there's a few like red boxes, I think. There's a CEX store that sells used DVDs, but oh, really? yeah, yeah. Let's pop this thing in. Munchie Strikes Back. Munchie Strikes Back. Um, Are munchies strike back? Or munchie? Munchie. 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 Singular. 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 Just one munchie. One the world munchie. doesn't need to. Um, go ahead and do some fast one forwarding action. Munchie. There's probably even previews on this. This is like a rental video. Dude, we gotta we gotta stop. And stop fast, fast forward. forward. Yeah. Get all days. <laughs> so fast. I mean, that's it's like what? It's like instantaneous. Action. I push the button, it does it almost instantaneous. Yep. Like it takes about 12, 12 seconds. And, it, and, and then you're you're going. I try some play ready. action now, dude. Yeah. Really, we're eight minutes in. That was eight minutes? Wow. <laughs> this is like high. Is it EP? <laughs> oh, shit. We fake we Elvis. Fake. Oh, shit. I was going to give you a like, but if you keep it up. I'm going to fuck you, you puppet. That's actual Marilyn Monroe. They, they were able to bring wow, her back to life. Wow. Cleopatra? Cleopatra? 
Forum has spoken. Is that a tall man? No. Yeah. It's um. Poltergeist. He was. Oh he was the shit! The scary guy in that. You you can fuck the mom if you want to. You know that's totally cool. Is he wearing a blouse? <laughs> Oh, Munchie. Oh, Munchie, he's in heaven. He's so silly. <laughs> I want to fuck all of you. Colonel Sanders is in heaven. I think I'm going to talk and shake my head at the same time all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just so people know I'm talking. Oh, disappointment. Why are you talking to me? Wow, that was Roger, Roger Corman. Corman. Fuck yeah. I don't I think he's the director. I think he's the director. strikes back. Because <laughs> we really needed him to strike back. He was so popular. Angus, Angus Grimm. Oh, no, it is. It is the tall man. Holy shit. The tall man is in Munchie Strikes Back? I'm totally an idiot. But he does look a lot, a lot like the poacher guy. Yeah. Was he younger there? I don't know. This well, I guess like he's not 80s. in the makeup. I mean, they make him look extra weird in the... Oh, man. A huge office. Um, I'm isolated up here in this town. Nothing could be further from the truth. <laughs> oh, I'm going to rape you. <laughs> my hair is going to rape you. My job is to find star players, and we rape the them. To the farm teams. Do you follow me so far, Ms. Uh, I'm a woman, no. My job is a talk of a douchebag. <laughs> And be condescending. The amazing land of Mexico City. And give me blowjobs. This dick can't suck itself. <laughs> <laughs> Prostitutes <laughs> kidnapping. It's incredible. <laughs> I call it my location. <laughs> Just you and me. She needs to call HR. And oh, get him in trouble. Trying to get that motion. <laughs> she's cleavaging like crazy over here. <laughs> and she's a, like a total bitch. I have AIDS. Bring him along too. I'll, I'll fuck him too. <laughs> I'll fuck anything as long as it has a hole in it. This desk, I fuck it daily. Star play. All right, I'm gonna pull a little fast forward action. Dave's totally um, caught up in this. Hey, Dave, Dave, can I get a little fast forward action? I know you were in France. And my five million dollars in sexual harassment lawsuit. I want to get Munchie back into this because uh, I think that's where the gold's at. Uh, uh, so the alcoholic father. <laughs> you can hit it, son. <laughs> I think he's drinking a coke. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. oh Munchie. Mm -hmm. He's he's a silly guy. Uh, where is Munchie? Yeah, well, where the fuck is that? Yeah, this is a lot of setup. You know why? Because. Because the puppet is so fucking bad looking, they're like, okay, let's really minimize how much. Oh time. my god! Oh, oh, oh I want to see this guy. No, I this see this guy, guy looks this guy. cool. This guy looks like a real pervert. He's what I'd call a classic child molester. My prized 
Was she talking? Was she British earlier? I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't. Know. Oh man, he had got, he's got, He was packing some heat there. Yeah. His name is Dog Killer. Come on, Killer. Oh, what the oh, fuck? Man. Where's Pete at? What the fuck? How's your problem? Fuck your dog. What? Is... She can't kick his ass. So she she's like the dog good dog. guy, right? I mean, she's the good person in the film. Uh, she... She's the anti-hero. I, I mean, guess. is the dog automatically a douchebag? Oh, because man, the owner I wanna, is? I'm gonna fuck this guy. You kick the dog. Yeah. Whore. Let's let's fast forward. We gotta see yeah, Munchie much, here. Gotta see Munchie at least one more time. Oh man, I wish oh, Munchie was in my life. I oh, wish he was in my bed. I would, I would, I'd fuck him so hard. Well, there he is. It's a good question. I think there's a lot in the name for me, but who can pronounce it? All my friends call me Munchie. So well, it's the eighties like on my this planet too. Is that why he's dressed like that? <laughs> what a bag of dicks! You got a bag of dicks? I'll eat those too. So I bet you're pretty amazed to see me. Most people are, you know. Look, I think you better leave. Yeah. Are you planning on raping me? Um, <laughs> that's not cool. You are definitely a stranger, and uh, I do not feel comfortable. Yeah, you just shit. Oh, my vagina? <laughs> you mean my vagina? <laughs> I'm not surprised. No, she she had it earlier, but it seems like it keeps going in and out. Yeah, no Maybe. more masturbating Maybe. either. I can hear you downstairs. Uh, no. I want a shirt that says Concord Junior High. Uh, are you pressed up against this window because some guy has his hand in your back? <laughs> He's always like in like <laughs> windows or like a curtain directly behind his head. Get the fuck out! That's the magic word. Do your legs work, Munchie? You did all that? Hey, that's just a preview of the coming attractions. Where do you see the main features? I vaporized My all penis. your belongings. Chris, I just wanted to... I was going to molest you, but now I've changed my mind. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> How'd you clean it up so fast? I should have to close up my ass. I, I have a slave <laughs> named Munchie. You're a real. Oh, I was gonna say my vagina is a little smelly tonight. You might want to stay upstairs. You know, I'm gonna be scrubbing it. That's that's really Don't weird, man. Don't touch her. Ah, he's touching her. Nah, I'm drunk. I'm high and drunk. <laughs> my boss is disgusting. <laughs> All right, maybe we should wrap it up. What do you think? Yeah, guys? yeah. I think we got a good taste of Munchie there. Munchie, all right. Why don't we go backwards? Uh, Mr. Gary Alvarez, what do you got Ooh. for shit sandwiches? Uh, oh, man, well... Oh, Dave, could you swing around? That's a little hard, because... I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some more golden moments in there somewhere, but we only caught so few. But, uh... Um... I will give it three shit sandwiches. Nice. Just for the fact that it, it, it might have potential somewhere down the road of the film. But, mm. um, so three on potential. Uh, yeah, I was, I was three on potential. I was going to give it a two, but then I was like, it, it, it might be something there. So three three should be good. Okay. And uh, that's to me, right? It's a tough decision. It's, huh? pretty, it's pretty bad, though. I mean, it's a bad puppet. So I'm going to go three shit sandwiches. I right off the three. bat, it's funny. The perverted boss, which is... Uh, I thought he was just misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> we were reading him wrong. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I thought it was I thought it was, uh, it was, a real shitbox, and it was funny that Munchie would have to be, like, propped up against... Like, even the f opening scene, it was like some weird white curtain, like, directly across the plane. Yeah. So it looked like maybe five dudes 
you know, or like had his hand up his ass trying to control. I, I think it. five would be too many hands. I, I honestly think this is probably a one man. One one man. But then the second scene was like him in front of the window the whole fucking time. So clearly, <laughs> like there was a guy with standing outside the window. Anyway, uh, it was real shit box, and uh, and so I give it three shit sandos. Nice. Wow. Or Sammy's. Not shit so Sammy's. Good. good solid start. That's pretty good. Well. Here comes the tough judge. The tough judge. I, I told you I was going to. The real hard ass. David Downer. No, no. My head. <laughs> I, I, I talk. I guess people don't know I'm talking. It's the tall man did that. Yeah. Two shit sandos. Ah, nice. Nice. Um, so you know, bad. the day the whole time, like, until you actually started shaking your head, I never knew you actually talked. See? When you started shaking your head, like, this is the first time I ever heard you speak. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. Not really a good joke. But, um, so that's scary. that's a total of eight. Okay. So that puts, eight. Are, are we doing, uh, like, just commutative, or are we doing, like, a... Uh, no, I have a round per round, I think. Okay. So we tied the first round, and um, I have an eight for this round. Okay. So I got to beat it eight. And I have something. I have a fucking blank tape. Mystery tape. Total blank. This was from Video Express as well, which is no longer in existence. Uh, the record tab was popped, and I was like, "Well, I don't know what the fuck this is." So I just got it, and uh, no label anywhere. So this could be porn or no. somebody's homemade uh, sex tape. What I like would like to do though is can I can I fast forward for like a while? So like the stop <laughs> the stop fast forward. So, yeah, Video Express went out of business, what, maybe... October of uh, last year, 2013, because I, I made the comment that we had uh, started our doc in 2012 of October, and we had filmed there, and then it was a little bit, I think, like, the first week of October, I walked by in 2013, and it was closed. So within a year's time that we went, went there, the place wow. was shut down, yeah. Yeah, uh, but it was it was a pretty cool shop. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a downer. Okay, yeah. So we fast forwarded. All right, let's take a look at the totally blank go. tape. Okay. <laughs> what what language is that? It's a, it's an offshoot of English. Ken, you took Spanish one and two. Is that Spanish? No, I think this is Mandarin. Does anyone know Mandarin? I think it's Cantonese. I'm going to go with Mandarin. What do you think they're talking about? Shoulder pads? Shoulder pads. Um, <laughs> sleeveless shirts. She's talking about her shoulder pads. <laughs> which are like, kind of what a peacock's tail is to the other... I really admire your um, shoulder pads. Your massive shoulder pad. What does that say? N... Anus, anus. Oh, we're at the club now. What what kind of club is that? There's like. Well, in here in America, I think we'd call it a gay club, a gay bar. Probably. It's like nine dudes around a table. So is there like another dude on the table? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, those, what did it contain? That's like rubbing alcohol. Look at that joke. I was going to go KY, but alcohol, I guess rubbing alcohol. <laughs> I drink KY on yeah, the rocks. Dude, dude. By rocks, I mean my balls. Now he just told him his mom was fucking some guy out in the alleyway. Mm, so he's pissed now. Vinegar. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at, look at that security guy. You didn't say anything. She's singing. Pretty, pretty quiet. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite the shadow. It's great. The uh, lighting could have been better. Whoa! Whoa! Hard ass nun. <laughs> the flying nun. You know, Jesus invented chocolate sundaes. I heard that. I learned that today. <laughs> Is that Lincoln? My daughter is not doing well Why in school. Is that, is that what's happening? Um, picture of that lady wrapped in with a, like a bow? Like it's like it's new, or it was a gift? 
This is a present for Jesus. <laughs> I was given this by Jesus. For Jesus. Look at these earrings. You could like beat the fuck out of somebody with them. I'm sorry, sorry, my daughter misbehaved in Sunday school. Right? Is that what's happening? Is that what's going on? Her vagina is big and wide. Sound is awesome. In this. Yeah, I, the sound guy he gets mad props. Are those DVD cases above her? It's where she keeps the souls of children. My video. My video. My video. I wonder if this is, is this related to the other what's video. That, what's that number? Let's call that number. We missed it. Wait, where's my phone? Oh, look at this guy. Oh, yeah, waxing this guy, this statue's ass. Oh, he, me wax your dick? That's offering me something me all back in Is that James Ever almost? No, it's his cousin. Hey, I just made this. It's it's egg yolks and orange juice. I just realized that, that's a U.S. song that she's playing, isn't it? Yeah. It's English. Oh yeah, what is that? Oh, it's like is that in vogue or somebody like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> keeping it, they're keeping it hip. It's like revenge of the something. I don't like girls. Get away. <laughs> I fuck statues. I don't like guys anyway. Guys are girls. Get away from me. <laughs> Is this my house? <laughs> Oops. Oh. oh. What happened to the fast forward point. action? Well, I mean, we had a little, a little more time. I mean, I didn't, what did she? Did she get down the stairs, Dave? I mean, what the uh, fuck? Maybe she got downstairs. Well, can we go like a couple minutes more? All right. Yeah. She give, fell down the stairs give us two minutes more. I need. I need. You a have to enjoy more. that. We enjoy that. We, no, we, we enjoy this. Uh, we can we just see her get down the stairs? Picture. Just, just let's see him get down the stairs. I just wanted to go like. Uh, see, five are you glad you hit play? <laughs> I just wanted like five, like, like I don't know, a little skip in time. She's not bad looking. Why don't you like me? I have a cool shirt. Eh, that's true. You do have a cool shirt. Unfortunately, you have a small dick. She, on the other hand, has a huge dick. I choose her. I do. I have a huge dick. We're trying to find Bob's penis. Have you seen it? No, yeah. I haven't seen it. Uh, I'm praying for Bob's penis. Jesus! Dick. I'm praying that uh, that you die. Oh, Sorry. I think this is going to turn into a porno here. A lesbian porno. I hope maybe your face will melt like in Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> Dear Jesus, help me find Bob's penis. Wow, look at that. Great abs. Look we that. were saying. Yeah, yeah. Jesus is in good tie. shape. You see that? That's pretty good. He's always All in right. good shape. Jesus does beach body workouts. And he, he, does Zumba. he follows his own diet of eating whatever he Jesus wants. Jesus does P90. Doesn't he make his own wine and food? I think he does. He, uh, All right, he well. He makes his own wine and food. He has a good diet. I think that was worth it, keeping it on. I think that G the Jesus brought it right back around to the beginning. <laughs> yeah, it made it uh, asymmetrical. Um. Oh wait. So you guys are reading it, right? Yes. Dave, uh, look, can we get uh, Dave on cam oh, yeah. here? I'll save you the time. All right. So Dave is one shit sandwich. Do we need to know why? Is it any particular? Well, yeah, it sucked. <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> you didn't enjoy any of the acting or the uh, great um, audio nice. mix. Pretty girls are nice, but I don't know how old they are, so I can't really enjoy it. I'm Before pretty I'm... sure they were adults. Okay. They look young. Uh. All right, Ken Powell. Oh, this is tough. I'm torn between a two and a three, really. <laughs> I mean... How is it a three? <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> I'll, I'll concede it's not a three. I know. Yeah, I'll give it a two. I mean, like, I honestly think if we could, could have spent more time with it, that it could have made its way to three. I, I don't know if it would I, I think it has potential... There's no subtitles or anything. You don't even know what's going it's on. It's just exactly. fun to just say stupid shit. Exactly. I think it's a great place. I, I think that there's, there looks to be a few goofy characters. 
especially the guy in the weird pants that was that was like polishing a statue for the longest time. In the front. Yeah, yeah. Polishing, his, polishing the, the statue's penis. Um, so I, it had the potential. Like like Dave, I think you you cut it off a little too short. I still would have gone another five minutes, I think, with it. But yeah, on what we've seen, I guess I'll have to give two, even though I think it had the potential of a three, maybe even a four. Honestly, like I could been some good stuff there. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, Gary? Um, I'm going to give it a three. I was going to give it a two. I know it's outrageous. Everyone might hate me, but it's a three. Um, I mean, we finally did confirm that uh, Jesus was working out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yep. those, you know, iron abs. That's good to know. So that diet might actually work. So mm-hmm. I might be watching it and find out what's, how to get those. Uh, apparently, you said he does Zumba. I didn't know that. Mm. But um, You learn right something new my- every day. That's, that's uh, true. What, what chapter was that, Dave? Uh, verse 2. And that's verse science. 2. Uh, that's science a verse. Right. That's not a chapter. Revision. Revision? Yeah. So, I, I think the, I've seen I mean, that. So how many? Uh, three. Okay. Three, three. Nice. Just for the fact that, you know, it's nice to just voice over our own little uh, stories there. Hmm. Other than that, it's, um, I'll stick to three. I'll, I was going to give it a two, but, you know, I, I know it's easy on this one. Okay. What, what does that put it at? Uh, that gives you a six total for it. And you had a an eight. Eight. All right. So I'm on a winning streak. The now. second uh, the second VHS massacre. I will say though, to... it's uncomfortable judging our own videos, judging against each other. Yeah, but what are you yeah. gonna do? Yeah. Fuck it. Um. So yeah, that was good fun. Uh, nice. Any 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 memories or highlights of this this uh, profound night of watching shitty VHS? I think the Jesus. I mean the the Bible Jesus weight watching one. I think it has a shitload of potential to go back and, and watch some more of that. Um, even though the Munchie one, I guess, got a higher rating. <laughs> even And that might be worth going back and checking out again, too. Uh, yes, but I think the Jesus one, to me, was the most fun. The, the Munchie one was the only one I didn't want to like slip my wrist when I was watching. Dave, you were engrossed in that. I couldn't get you. Yeah. I was trying to talk to you, and you wouldn't pay attention to me. <laughs> I was fascinated. I like, the, uh, I like the Munchies, too. I just think it's so fucking weird, you know. I have a soft spot for fucking horrible puppets. Anyway. Hobgoblins comes to mind. Yeah. Horrible puppets. Globgoblins. <laughs> Boom. All right. Uh, what do you think? Uh, that, that should about do it, right? Yeah, yeah. I think we uh, completed uh, Crapathon number four. Um, I think, like, the next one, we should go, like, for one of those uh, marathon Crapathons. I don't know if you guys are up for, like, a six-movie run of shit. Spectacular. Yeah. Sometime yeah, it sounds future. good to me. And so, everyone out there, thanks for listening. Uh, you can also get our podcast on. Uh, our, we have a Google Play app, so look up New York City, download that. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, a bunch of weird ones like uh, Player FM and Blueberry, and all these other weird uh, podcasts. Yeah, we're pretty much everywhere. Anywhere you can find a podcast, you can find yeah. us at now. So uh, check us out in any of those places. Appreciate the support. If you're on iTunes, drop us a review. We'd like to get our reviews up if we if we could, you know. Uh, and uh, I guess that's about it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody have a good night. Thanks for joining us. And I'm your host Tom Seymour. And I'm your host Kim Pal. Special thanks to Dave Lute uh, and uh, Mr. Gary Alvarez. Check you later.